Good morning. Welcome back to the second hour of Love Babs Love Talk on Babs Rolls Ivy. I am uh, waiting for my guest to log in, Camila Forbes. So hopefully, hopefully my my guest will show up today. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, had some uh, communication glitches with uh, the guest from yesterday, and <clears throat> I'm hoping that the guest from today will uh, join us directly. So we shall see how this all goes. <laughs> we shall see. So um, anyway, uh, Harry and I were talking about the holidays. We are uh, uh, excited, at least I am. And I'm trying to get Harry to watch some Hallmark or Lifetime holiday movies. I'm telling you, they are really good, Harry. They are very, very good. And... Uh, The word on the street this morning was Thanksgiving gratitude uh, because uh, Paul ran up on Candy and and, uh, her fiance, Jose, on Green uh, Garden Street, and they had a big blow up turkey on the on the lawn. (laughs) So (laughs) nothing says Thanksgiving like a big blown up turkey. So and I know it makes kids happy when they see all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's nice that these kinds of things are accessible to people. I, I see them because I live in a neighborhood where people decorate for Christmas. Uh, I've not seen too many decorations for um, uh, I've not seen anybody decorate for uh, Thanksgiving just properly. But or or maybe I have and I just didn't notice. But I. I didn't. I didn't decorate this year. Usually, I, I only thing I had on my porch this year were mums. Normally, um, I had like last year. I had pumpkins, um, lots and lots of pumpkins. So I was like, "Oh, I don't want to do that this year." And I have um, outdoor decorations. They just stack packed away, and I don't want to deal with them. So, but I might get me a tree this weekend because that's that's been the tradition uh, in the family. To get a tree the day after Thanksgiving. So we'll we'll see how I feel. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I would feel some kind of way if I didn't get a tree, you know, because I'm so used to doing that. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see. So uh I'm just waiting on my guest. Hopefully, um, <clears throat> um this will go well. If not. You know, the train moves, uh, the train moves down the track, so, uh, so, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, it's a day, it's a wonderful, wonderful day. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, uh, I move through. So uh, I haven't started playing Christmas music yet. So I have to put my Christmas station on. <laughs> and it's really easy on Spotify. Just I just put in like um, so Christmas and then there it is. And God knows I got a gazillion CDs of Christmas music. Uh, so I am not without my favorites. And, you know, Christmas music starts with me with um, uh, first Stevie Wonder. That's what Christmas means to me. And then I got to hear um, The Temptations, Silent Night. Because uh, that's how you usher in Christmas. And then uh, Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You. Those are the three that set the tone for me. And then, and then you know, I go to my, my favorites, my, my favorites, like, you know, all the Christmas songs by Vanessa Williams and the other songs by other R&B artists, you know, uh, more Stevie Wonder. <laughs> but those are the three. That set the tone for me. Like, those are the three. Those are the three. And uh, and, uh, and and Christmas season does not begin until I hear those three songs. So 
uh, uh, Stevie Wonder, what does Christmas, what Christmas means to me, uh, Silent Night by the Temptations, and Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You. And I'm, and I'm in the mood. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I like all the Christmas songs, but these are the three that sort of set the tone. These are the three that sort of get me right into the spirit. And then I'm ready to listen to all the Christmas music. I mean, all of it, you know, by everybody and anybody, all kinds of Christmas music. You know, I, it's particularly jazz Christmas music. Love listening to jazz Christmas music. There's a lot, 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 lot of it. Um, so, you know, uh, there's lots of R&B. And there's like, there's a couple of art, different kinds of R&B. There's like that old school R&B with like Otis Redding, James Brown, Percy Sledge, you know, that kind of art, Christmas music, R&B. Uh, and then and then you come a little further in and you've got, you know, of course, a little Aretha Franklin and some Gladys Knight and uh, more Temptations, Spinners, all of that, OJs, all of that. Then you come into, you know, the, the 80s, 90s uh, R&B, you know, particularly the 90s R&B. You know, where you get a little Whitney Houston and you get, uh, I mean, you get uh, a whole bunch of uh, young, younger, for, well, cooler R&B, you know. Uh, so I dig that. And then, um, and then, and, and that's when you start to hear the rap influence, you know, the rap Christmas music, you know, like Hollis and, uh, uh, Ho Christmas and Hollis and, uh, uh, the Sugar Hill Gay, and, uh, all all of that Christmas stuff, which I love. Uh, Curtis Blow, which is up there too. Uh, and then um, more jazz, yes, like um, Jonathan Butler. You know, he does a whole. I mean, all of them do all kinds of Christmas music. So, um, so I like I like that. Uh, and then uh, I like, um, you know, I sprinkle in some classical stuff. I sprinkle in some, a uh, little bit of reggae stuff, a little world music. So, and then it rounds out, rounds out the, the holiday music scene for me. So, uh, and that's, that's what I do. So, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. So. That's the kind of music I like, baby. So, uh, uh, let's see. I, I'm, I'm <clears throat> responding to people. Uh, 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 I'm responding to people as they are trying to talk to me. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, uh, it's a little tricky because this is regarding <clears throat> the guest. Um, so anyway, we just keep the show moving. So yeah, so that's my that's my holiday thing. Uh, I have to figure out where I can get a tree. I tend to like to go to local farms, uh, but that can be hectic uh, sometimes. And sometimes I just go right to Home Depot and get a damn live tree. But I'm, I might just... <laughs> Just make my way to a farm and see. I, we'll see. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I've never hung a wreath on this door here. I don't know why I haven't done that. I might do that this year. We'll see. I don't decorate the porch um, or any such thing. Um, but uh, um, we just keep it. I just keep it how it is. Like the mums are on there now. You know, mums require so much water. My God. So much water. So uh, anyway, such is life. Say la vie. Uh, I have a good friend, uh, Monica Mingo, who lives, who has a, uh, who lives in uh, in Louisiana, Mississippi, Louisiana, somewhere. And she has a, a shop called That Gumbo Life. And um, uh, relatives are getting married in Marrakesh, I guess. So they're in Marrakesh now. And the pictures are gorgeous. And, uh, and she's been live streaming from Marrakesh because I'll be in Marrakesh for my birthday. 
So it looks so bright. <laughs> it looks so bright. Anyway, so um, so she's in Marrakesh. And, you know, she's funny. Her commentary is so funny. But I've been just looking at all the things that they're doing and where they're staying and the places that they're staying. And, you know, the architecture in Marrakesh is so beautiful. Um, so, um, so, yeah, so that's where I'll be for my 60th birthday. And uh, I think it'll be swell. It'll be a good time. So, uh, so shout out to Monica Mingo and her family in Marrakesh. <laughs> Uh, uh, getting married, you know. Uh, and the bride and groom are running around with bride and groom sweatshirts on. They're so cute. So it must be a little cool because they've got sleeves on, you know. Um, so it can't be terribly, it's not cold, but it's it's not hot either. Um, so that's nice. By the time I get there, uh, uh, it's, it's it, it won't be, uh, It'll be nice too. The weather will be uh, nice because it doesn't get hot till like June, I think. It's their hot season. So so I won't be there for that. Thank God. I never want to be anywhere where it's ridiculously hot um, at all. At all. So uh, anyway, the show keeps moving on. So I picked up I picked up my blueberry my vegan blueberry pie yesterday, um, pinch of joy, who is um, um, displaying and uh, sharing pies at Bloom. So if you've not gotten your holiday pie, go and see what they have left over at Bloom and get you a pie. Seriously, just get you a pie. <laughs> They're really really good, and she dec she puts decorative crust, you know. So my my pie for Thanksgiving looks all fancy with uh, uh, with the crust looking like flowers and very pretty, very thoughtful. So we'll, but so I'll I'll take that over to uh to uh, somebody's house when I go on Friday, wherever I mean Thursday, wherever I end up. Uh, I'm I'm really trying to uh, find some time this weekend to really tinker around the house and step up my study game. Uh, before I start studying on Saturday um, and Sunday, we're having a study group. So I really have to, there's some things that I need to work on and I need time to do that. And uh, and I want to give myself time to do that and dedicate myself to that. So that's why this weekend is so um, pivotal for me. So I could, you know, I'm going to shut down my, my social activities for a minute. and. Uh, I'm gonna shut down my social activities for a minute and then um I'm going to uh spend more time working on all this LSAT stuff so I could be really prepared and some other things that require my attention. So so I've got the arts awards coming up, and then after that, uh I'm gonna dial it back a great deal. So you won't see me at all the best swanky parties this year. Uh I've got some commitments. So um, so I'm gonna let that land there and uh, that's the deal that's the dealio that is the deal so so yeah so I'm gonna try to map out a much better schedule for myself so that I can uh, tackle uh, all the things in front of me so that I can walk into the new year with the, uh, I, I am I am going to a cigar party with uh, my trainer Robert. Um, he he is um, selling cigars, so I'm I'm going with him to to uh, 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 Hudson Valley, somewhere in the Hudson Valley, for an afternoon. But that'll be fun, you know. I don't really. That's not heavy lifting, and it's not all day. Like it's it's a part of the day, and then it's you know. It's not a night event. It's a late afternoon event. So that'll be nice. That'll be really nice. And uh, uh, you know. Hey, Harry. Hey, Babs. 
So I saw um, that um, Biden pardoned two turkeys yesterday. Did he too? Yeah, two turkeys. Now, these turkeys, Bob, they look like 40 to 60 pounds, right? Huge. Oh, are you trying turkeys. to say you should <laughs> eat those turkeys? Right. No, well, what I'm saying is how about you give those turkeys to a couple of families? I mean, or, I mean, 60 pound turkeys given to like four families. Okay, Harry. First of all, that's not how turkeys work. <laughs> I mean, nobody, nobody's gonna nobody want to chop up half of a turkey, <laughs> and uh, and well, you we gotta start have a new tradition. New tradition. No. And you want them to like chop their heads off and then send them somewhere? I mean, you gotta look at these turkeys, but these things are huge, massive. I don't want you look. I think these think... are not the turkeys you can eat anyway. Do you think they really get pardoned? Yeah, they don't kill those turkeys. You think they actually go to the farm? Yeah. Yeah, your your cat went to the farm. He's having he's living a <laughs> yeah, yeah, see yeah. that see that's your cynicalness. <laughs> yes, those turkeys are we've been pardoning turkeys since the beginning. I know, but shouldn't we give it to a couple of families? I mean these No. No, Harry, because you have to clean them and all I mean, those turkeys are not um, the turkeys that you would eat anyway. I don't think you can eat those turkeys. Well, they look edible to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh my God, so much meat on those turkeys. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I, I guess chocolate, it was chocolate and chip. I think that was. Oh, I saw the chocolate one. I didn't know there was two. Yeah, that was two chocolate and chip. Well, now that Pardon you see them, the Harry, they got names. You can't kill them now. What? I'd be thinking to myself, does this, is it going to taste like chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, come on. We're wasting turkeys. Harry, it's two turkeys. We're wasting them. They're not wasting turkeys. It's two turkeys. It's you not can't necessary. Part, to... You can't. You know, it's not necessary to pardon food. <laughs> You're pardoning food. I, I, I am not getting into this debate with you because I, <laughs> I, 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 to to the to the vegans in the world, I'm sure they feel like that's a lovely thing. Like one <laughs> less, one two less turkeys are being slaughtered. Oh, I don't know. I, what a waste! That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm looking at this ceremony. Everybody's celebrating. I'm going like this. Oh, what a waste. Jeez. Those things look good dressed up with vegetables. And anyway. <laughs> I, I, I honestly think we're going to have to move away from food. I mean, killing animals for food. Oh, no. I think that's biblical, right? <laughs> Did you say, oh, no? <laughs> that's biblical, though, Babs, I think. What? To, um, to kill them or not kill them? To, to kill them for food. Um I would um I would I would go back to being a Christian if if he stopped killing First of all, Harry, you've never you've not you you've never left being a Christian. So I don't know why you say that. I would have to go back to being a Christian because I would I I would become a Christian for food. (laughs) (laughs) I believe in food. (laughs) <laughs> there's, there's, there's all kinds of food all kinds of food so yeah. yeah yeah you know i was i was looking at recipes right and and there was some vegan turkey <laughs> drums and, I, and i'm thinking to myself vegan turkey does that mean it's not turkey yes it means it's not turkey so why put turkey in it because it gives you the sense of turkey the flavor of turkey without having had uh so they should put like vegan turkeyish food, <laughs> not really turkey. You know, it's, for me, it's, it's like going into a a Best Buy and they only they they put a TV for sale, right? They say TVs for a hundred dollars, and you go and they only have one in stock, right? So that's bait and switch. They now you you're gonna buy something more expensive. Speaking of TVs. Did you see the Good Morning America, Harry, when they had the Black, the Black Friday deals? No. <laughs> Harry, a 50-inch TV, guess how much it is? How much? 
and there's gonna be just two in stock, <laughs> and you're gonna but, end up spending three hundred. Well, <laughs> well, I I don't know about that hustle, but but know how we talk about cheap. We want our cheap TVs, Harry. We want our cheap TVs. Yep. We don't. And you want... could you could count on all of them having listening devices. <laughs> See, They're all coming from China. <laughs> Tis the season to be cynical. <laughs> Harry, 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 Harry. <laughs> You're going to go back to a tube TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> this way nobody can listen. But a, and, the, but, and the surround sound was $148, too. You know, the sound to put. It was on Good Morning America. You know how they do the steals and deals and all that yeah. stuff. So, yeah. yeah that's, that's, some, that's some good deals. Um, Amazon already has some Black Friday deals. Um, what does Black Friday? Black Friday is Friday, right? Yeah, but they have okay. early deals. Early, early Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. all, well, all of them. Walmart sent me the same thing. Early Black Friday deals. Get in on the deals. So it's like okay, but I'm forbidden from buying right now because your wife said no. Yes, my wife said. That this is the cutoff point. You cannot buy yourself anything. And you know, I I get that, right? I can't buy myself because people might give it to me for Christmas. Oh, yeah. The she pro- says this every year. She has to yeah. tell you this every year. Every year she has to tell me that's that, it. Yeah. Right. But here's my problem. Uh-oh. So Christmas morning, I don't get anything that I want. You not that I let me re- let me rephrase that. <laughs> let me let me clean this up. <laughs> yeah, not that I don't want the stuff I get, but some of the stuff on my list that she told me not to buy, I don't get. But now the sales are gone, so now I'm paying thirty percent more for something I could have bought a month earlier. Well, why don't you just give her the list so she can work from the list instead of yeah. guessing? Well, yeah, she she. Uh, she gets mad at me because I don't do that, right? So I actually, yesterday, I sent her links to stuff I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. And I don't, you know, my problem is I don't I don't need somebody to buy me anything. I, I could buy it for myself. So that, That's not the point. There are things you could buy yourself, yes. 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 But we, know, are, we know you're capable of that. But so, so I should just, yeah, I should relax. There's stuff I buy and... And I don't open the box for a year. <laughs> oh, God. So it's like, okay, uh, yeah, maybe I didn't need this one. But but I think to myself, yeah, but it was 40% off. I know, but <laughs> but may, because it's 40% off, is it something you really want? No, because no. you ain't opened the box in a year. Yeah, I, sometimes I end up giving stuff away because okay all right it's like okay i bought it like right now i just bought myself <laughs> oh i bought myself like six pair of pajamas now i don't wear pajamas right but they were on sale right so because karen gave me the look i've been wearing pajamas the last three days because i bought myself pajamas <laughs> so she's like, "Oh, you're wearing your pajamas." I said, "Yeah, of course. I bought myself pajamas to wear them, but they were on sale, so I bought myself pajamas." Um, so I guess I, now I'm wearing pajamas. Is is this how this is gonna go? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I bought myself six pair, but Babs, I bought it <laughs> like if I was like thirty pounds ago. Like, oh my god. Can you return them? I probably could, but I I don't know if I want to return. Maybe I'll just give them away. You can give them away. Because. Who are you going to give them to? The shelters? Uh, well, like, my like, nephews is, it, are is your nephew big boys. Big? big boys, yeah. Are they big enough to wear those, though? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I'm, I might give it to my nephew, who is always struggling to find that big and tall stuff so give him the pajamas yeah i'm gonna give him the pajamas but um like you know what i had you know what i had to do lord i trimmed 
some of the pajamas so that they fit now and everything. And she's like, you just, you bought the pajama and you destroyed the pajama. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes things are on sale and you're like, oh, yeah, I don't wear pajamas, but I could start wearing pajamas. Maybe I'm going to start wearing pajamas. I bought myself a robe too, Babs. I, I'm... <laughs> now, this robe, I'm never going to... I'm just never going to wear a robe. Why? Why unless, you... <laughs> unless there's a fire and I have to run out with a robe or something like that. But um, it's a nice robe. You know what? I'm with Karen. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, that's it. That's it. You can't buy yourself nothing else. And I'm like, well, I'm going to send you. I started yesterday. I'm going to send you a few things. So at least I feel good that that thing that was on sale, like I got, you know. So I sent her a few things. Mm. So I'm horrible. I'm horrible when it comes to holidays. So, so you bought a robe and pajamas that you don't intend to wear. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm still stuck on that. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna wear the robe Christmas, Christmas Eve. Feel like what? And then what? Like, Put um, it away. Who's that guy? The Playboy guy. The Playboy. Hugh, Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. I'm gonna feel like Hugh Hefner for a day, in my robe. <laughs> Maybe I'll get myself a cigar. <laughs> what what color is it? Is it black? Ah, it's actually blue, pl- plaid blue. So it's kind oh. of not my thing too, but I'm gonna wear it. For a day at least. Oh. For a day. You you might like the robe. So Harry, when you come home from the end of end of the day, you take your shower, you relax or whatever, you don't want to put your robe on and your slippers and chill. Yeah, uh, I'm more of a put on my shorts, um, my slippers, and an old T-shirt type of guy. And then you can throw a robe over it. You know, and then then um, sleeping, I'm normally just an uh, old natural guy, you know. I don't like wearing anything in my sleep, but I have the last three days. But you need a robe near you. Yeah, that's what that's what Karen said. Well, at least if there's something if that you they get up in the middle of the night and you're in the buff, <laughs> well, that's you're not well, that's, have time to go through the drawers and pick out an outfit. Well, here's the thing, right? So if somebody breaks into my house, oh lord, I don't think they're gonna want to wrestle a naked guy, right? So that's that works in my favor, um, and <laughs> I mean. I guess if if there's a fire or something and I got to run out, I should have a robe. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you see, the robe robe is going to come in, I guess. I know, Harry, but you're not going to have a fire. So, I know. That's one thing. And it's hard to break it. A robe is a nice thing to have. When you come out of the shower, what do you do? You just wrap in a towel? You know, I saw an article one time, um, P. Diddy talked about he likes to air dry when he and and i'm i feel that i i know what he was talking about i like to air dry so yeah but but when my granddaughters aren't over it's the worst right it's the worst because i gotta dry up in the you know, bathroom and and put on clothes in the bathroom. I feel like somebody's punishing me. What do you mean so, you gotta put on? Why don't you just go? See if you had a robe. Well, now I have a robe, robe, so I'm just gonna and go to your room. Yeah, and get dressed. Why you get dressed? Oh, because you don't have a robe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what now you, I have a robe. You see, I was thinking you, ahead. If you had a robe. It would make your life, and then you can hang it on the back of the door in the bathroom. Well, you see, there's so or, many reasons. There's so many reasons why I bought that robe. Babe. See, I see. You were thinking ahead. <laughs> thinking ahead. You could lounge. You could be in the bathroom. You know, you could put it on. Like if somebody comes to the door, you don't want to. You, get you all know the what way I dressed. normally what I normally do is I I'm the last person to get up when the 
granddaughters are over. And once they're downstairs, Karen says, nobody's allowed upstairs until Papa comes down. Okay. That's how we normally run it. Okay. Um, but yeah, the robe would probably be more convenient. <laughs> okay. So, I mean... I, 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 I'm here to tell you, it would it'd be a life changer. <laughs> so, it would be a life changer. So is there anything that you're thinking yourself like, oh, I wish this is on sale, right? Because for me, I'm always looking for computer stuff, right? Little gadgets that's going to make my life a little better. No, I don't. I don't. You don't do that? No, I don't think about gifts like that. I don't I don't care what if people give me something, Harry. I'm just so grateful. I don't care what it is. But, but not just gifts like something you're gonna buy for yourself like you're not looking you see i'm I'm a tech guy so it's i'm like oh no i i don't know i I guess (laughs) i guess it's like women with shoes for me a new usb device is like (laughs) oh wow i don't i don't i don't i don't even know the last time i thought about a sale like i'm not gonna be in these streets black friday looking for nothing how about um Small business Saturday is now, it? Now, small it? business Saturday, I will participate in. I will, I will go to my small shops in town because I want to. For me, that. I would have to. I would have to drive to New Haven to do that. Right? Girl, you should come. Come to New Haven because I'm have gonna, some hot chocolate. You could. well, I'm not going to shop in Waterbury. I got to tell you. <laughs> is there any place to shop in Waterbury? <laughs> oh, it's just come to New Haven. Saturday. Light. I'll meet you for lunch. <laughs> light. In the Waterbury, like oh. I'll, I'll meet you for lunch, Harry. Come to New Haven, and for Small Business Saturday, I'll take you to Bloom. I'll take you to Possible Futures for books. I'll take you. We could go downtown and walk up Chapel Street. Oh, the stop, stop in Idiom. Walking. Stop in Dwell. You, you, you get some good shopping done. You know, little things, one or two things for interesting things that you can't find on Amazon. <laughs> I know it's just Amazon is not a small business. <laughs> the convenience. I know, but sometimes, sometimes it's it's nice to be on the street. <laughs> it's like I don't care. <laughs> I'll, no, make I sure get a, I'll make sure you get a good coffee. <laughs> you know, you know what I am gonna do. I can't. I can't promise that I'm gonna show up and walk around, but. <laughs> I am gonna go to the the lights, the white the lighthouse lights. Oh, you take the granddaughters. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that thing. Yeah, you drive through, drive through, and they see the lights. So I'll do that. Um, do you have a uh, do you have a tree lighting on the green in Waterbury? I have no idea what Waterbury does, right? So because New Haven, the tree lighting is uh, sometime or other. You know what, though? I, I got to tell you, the only time I'm interested in going downtown in Waterbury is when they're having the um, Jamaican festival that they do there. Because the food yeah. is good. Yeah. <laughs> because the food. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason I go. That's but not, other, that's, that's you know, other than thing. that, I don't do it. And it's because my daughter goes, well, let's, let's go to, let's go. Because let's go get some food. She goes, food, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh yeah, Jamaican food. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. It's always a good idea. So but. all right. Well, my guest was a no-show today, too. Uh-oh. Who's that? Norma. <laughs> Who's Norma? Norma, we have a show. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Are you coming in town tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I'll be here. All right, so I'll, I'll see you tomorrow then for Thanksgiving. Hi, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be celebrating. I guess eating. Eating. Yeah, I guess right. I guess I'm gonna get a little bit in because I gotta save myself for Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, you gotta do that. But yeah, it'd be nice to see everybody for an hour or so. So yeah, I'll be downtown. I'll come downtown. So all right, so all right. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to Love Labs Love Talk on WNHH LP 103.5 FM, your home for community radio. Mm